boy, John the Gamer here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. Hopefully you all have a wonderful day, as <clears throat> much as I am. Everything is going well. Uh, let me go ahead and give you just a little bit of a new thing. We have Dali the Machamp. I'm super excited, honestly. Today we're going to go ahead and get some encounters a little bit. Um, I... Oh no, my brain. We're supposed to get Surf... Oh no. Oh, 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 yes, yes. We actually, my plans have been thwarted because I just realized casually that we may or may not need to go to uh, the Safari Zone. So, Blaine will be on the death episode. Yay! Death upon death upon death upon death. So, if you guys like death, definitely watch Friday's episode because, oh my god. You, one, you guys get to kill a Pokemon tomorrow. And two, we're fighting a gym leader. I, actually, that's unfortunate that I forgot that we had to do this part. Uh, not necessarily forgot the Safari Zone, but I wanted to keep things interesting. And so I purposefully avoided the Safari Zone because the Safari Zone's hecka annoying. But... <laughs> Um, at least, hey, we figured out what we needed to do. We, uh, I didn't have a too bad of a brain fart. And we are going to continue forth and kind of an interesting way. So, obviously, our team is very awkward. Uh, but that's kind of what I like about our team. I love the awkwardness. But it also gives me massive, like, not massive anxiety. But, like, I'm like, oh, my God, what is our team going to be like? How is this going to work? What are you guys going to kill because the team looks so awkward so that I can't actually be like, oh, this is probably what you're going to kill. No, no, I can't even do that because it's just so out there that there is absolutely no form of, like, I can't even make an educated guess. <laughs> and that's very, like I said, very difficult because I'm somebody who likes to make the educated guess to figure out kind of maybe this is what you're gonna kill now mind you I was wrong last time really we got a Spiro I mean it's catchable I guess that's a positive um, good job I guess it's catchable proceeds to fail a Spiro why can I not catch, like, easy mons? First, it's freaking Zubat. And then we sit here and have freaking Spiro be a pain in the butt. Like, that's the mons that you would never expect to be a pain. And uh, does it just chuck a ball automatically? Or am I just double hitting A without paying attention? Probably the second one. But... Oh, repel, that actually be... I might actually use that, like, right now. Okay, it does not throw a ball automatically. It's just me being me. But yeah, so you have 500 steps to get in here. It's okay. No, honestly, though, it, today's been a day. Um, not bad. It's just been a day. Um, and nothing... It, it, it's just kind of... Eh is kind of how you can describe today. It's like not been great, but it's also not been terrible. Um, so I count that as a win in my book, but I don't know, other people would say that's not good, but like I don't mind days that are eh, because days that are eh just means that I didn't have to do anything crazy and I was I could just be more lackadaisical. And I'm like, I don't mind that at all. Um, now, Obviously, you think about it, and you're just like, oh, well, you just did nothing much. I know this is not really much of a, like, oh, wow topic, but it's kind of the topic that just came into my mind. That's how commentary works. You just speak your mind. Um, but yeah, like, today, the weirdest part about today is the amount of times I'd explain that, like, my workplace was a retail store and not a jewelry store. So, a lot of people were like, well, you sell jewelry, so you're a jewelry store. It's like, no, we're a retail store. We sell jewelry, but we don't do anything with the jewelry. Oh my god, did I fail? Oh no, I'm not 
not gonna make it through this area first. Also, I could never imagine going through this without a guide. To be, I'm like being perfectly honest, I could not imagine having to go through Safari Zone without any form of guide whatsoever. Because, you know, I'm doing it without a guide, but like if you didn't know or hadn't played these games, like how are you expected to know where you're supposed to go and like even somebody like me who's played these games a bunch actually didn't see this fulfillment um who's played this game a bunch still does not do it right and that's like it takes me more than one attempt and that's a problem in my opinion if it, if it takes experienced players more than one attempt i think i'm i think i'm the wrong way to think i have to this yeah this feels more right this feels more natural oh jeez how about i don't just yell Because the speed up is going to hurt me in the long run. Oh yeah, again, here I go again. Not knowing where I'm going. Hmm. Look at where I entered from. Nope, that's not either. Hmm. So, that took us way longer than it was supposed to, but, uh, whatever. We got that, and we're gonna get strength, because we have no strength to now. Oh my god. Okay, so, part of the reason why I sped that up is, A, I really had no talking points in Safari Zone, so that would've been, like, the most boring sit-down and absolutely do nothing ever. And I'm sure that's the last thing you guys wanted to see, but anyway. So we're gonna get our encounters and then just go to uh, Cinnabar Island, I think is kind of the goal. Um, I know, we had a goal shift, but I mean, hey, at least that means you guys get to kill a Pokemon faster in Johto when we get there. So I mean, if we wanna talk positives, that would be a positive in my book, is being able to, uh, yeah. I mean, hey, that's something for you. Um, so, yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and go ahead and fly with Adam. And we'll fly right to Pallet. So, of course, speaking of Pallet Town, Jonas did something really cool. Um, and he did an entire, an entire two-hour video in Jonas fashion um, where he explained... Um, like getting to Brock and all the fun stuff that goes along with that so if you guys want to check that video out that's an amazing video and I really suggest that you do because it does it is a really good video I, I like it a lot um like I've told him all my personal opinions on it so um but yeah I'd love to hear your feedback on it at some point too gloom is our encounter I really don't mind a gloom it's a very low level to gloom but you know, low level gloom, high level gloom. What's the difference? The difference is, well, simple. It can do more. Definitely when I get to, um, not Cinnabar. I don't have much. 
It's not the balls either. Okay, this might actually... This... The encountering might have to wait then. Okay, we got the gloom. And we're gonna name it. We're gonna name it Snoop Dogg. I don't know, that sounds like a good name for it. Don't don't ask me why I think Snoop Dogg's a good name for it. Because to be honest, I have no clue. Um, okay, Surf is contained. Maximus B, Cole, and Daddy and the Champ can learn it. Well, None of these are special attackers. But at least it's stabbed for Maximus, and I would prefer it over Hydro Pump, so. But I also need to get rid of Cut so that Maximus can have strength. Yay, Maximus is going to have a ton of HMs. Uh, so yeah, that I could get the encounter there for it. I don't want it. And this is a different encounter now as well. Are we actually going to be lucky? Wait, I don't believe... Oh, well, I was stupid, but... Nothing I can do for that. Sorry, I'm speeding up. I probably shouldn't, but... I'm really just trying to get to Sephora Island as quickly as possible so I can buy some, like, Ultra Balls. We actually, okay, so now that we're in Sephora Island, lucky me, right? We can actually pull the escape rope from them. What wanted it for? Oh my god, we actually got it. Uh, also, our teams after Blaine might be completely, what I mean by completely different is that I might be actually going through my TMs and seeing what's good and what's not. So, oh wait. Oh, so this is Then deposit. Want those. I'm fine with that, actually. Car key can go. Master ball stays. TM. And the X Act here. See, I was. I'll just sell that. Most of our TMs and stuff I want to keep in there. Oh nope, I want to throw these keys though because. I'm going through the mansion. So that way it's Blaine and then st it's still Blaine in Encounters. But instead of being Blaine this episode, Blaine's next episode. I guess that kind of works out. I blame Blaine could still be this episode, depending. Like, I'm not counting Blaine out yet. Because, again, Blaine... Okay, and they're my lucky two dollars. Two dollars is so much. It literally buys a piece of candy. Uh, okay, now we're in Pokemon Mansion. Our, our encounter is a... A Flareon. You know what? We'll take that, actually. Um, I was actually debating on bringing... Uh, or getting Ninetales on the team. But I ended up deciding against Ninetales because of... The fact that we had Daddy the Champ and Neem. <laughs> like, this is the one time, or one of the few times. <gasps> Roar! Oh my god, this is so annoying! Wow. That could. 
couldn't have been more unfortunate. Oh no, now I have to remember Pokemon Mansion. I mean, hey, that's more money, but yeah, let me... Oh god, okay. I think what it is... Nope, that wouldn't be right. Ah, uh, so a better item. Maybe a repel. No, another four store. I mean, I'll take them. I don't have to buy them now, so that's cool. Um... Is it what I'm thinking it is? I don't think so. Oh no, it is! It totally is. I believe I go down the little one though, so I believe I'm forced to take on Doodly. Which is fine. I don't mind taking on Doodly, but it's just like, do I really want to take on the Doodly do? Not, not really. But if I have to, I will. Carter is now level 52. That's nice. Um, Adam is. Oh God! No! 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 Not another one! Oh! That sucks. Something else is about to die. No. Um, I guess. What do I have the most backups for? I feel like B is probably the one that could take the hit the most. But even then, will B actually take it? Probably not. Didn't go for it. Didn't go for it. Oh my gosh. B, you are lucky. And then Zubat. So, last night, I was like, there's no poison flying types in Pokemon. <laughs> Zubat exists. But I mean, to be fair, it's the only one, so at least that's something. I still felt stupid, but. Oh, that is the wrong one that I went into. No! Uh... Crap. I was so dead set on that being the right one. I didn't even have to fight him. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! Oh. I was like, oh, it's the smaller crevice. Therefore, it's this one. Nope. So literally, didn't need to fight him. And I could be fighting these Polaras, but I just. I'm not too worried. Yep, that's where I needed to go. Darn. Sorry for a lot more speed up use than normal. I just... Realistically, it's I'm trying to get this done as fast as possible so I can edit it tonight and get it out. Another nugget! Jeez Louise! Um, but also... The other thing is that, um, I just, I, I don't, I want to still continue with my plans. This is such a boring episode. I already know, but I'm just too tired to make a good episode. <laughs> TM09, we'll take it. But yeah, no, I, I don't worry. Episode 20 would be, uh, is going to be a wild roller coaster. I can promise you that because episode 20 will actually be recorded at a decent time. Oh my gosh, there's Mewtwo here. Ugh. Mewtwo would have been amazing. A burn hill. You know you better have that for Giovanni. 
you don't have a burn hill for Giovanni, then like, who are you even? Definitely not a Pokemon master. Yeah, no, honestly, yeah, this episode's really gonna be short, but it kind it works for now. Um, we're gonna go through. This is the secret key. Now that we've got that item. Heal up and enter the gym. And. You know, I did promise that we were gonna take on the gym, so we're gonna do it. I promised it. And I don't break my promises, so we're gonna go fight the gym leader. Uh, we're just not gonna fight any of the gym trainers. So that way we can see if anybody gets extra votes. Well, actually, technically speaking. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I was going to say, technically speaking, they wouldn't you not need to... It could be on episode 20. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. Caterpie evolves into Metapod, which evolves into Butterfree. I don't like that question because I feel like that question oh question one's annoying it's actually I feel like question wrong is question one is wrong because like you don't it doesn't evolve into Butterfree it evolves into Metapod but it's final evolution is Butterfree I guess it's right but it doesn't it's worded weird there's nine gym badges no there's eight I don't like question one. That's... Poliwag evolves three times. No. But that's also not... Uh, that's also true. Well, in Gen 1, it's not. Never mind. In Gen 1, it's not. Because in Gen 1, it was two times. But in Gen 2, they made it three. So people who come back to this game are going to be like, oh yeah, it does. And it's like, huh? I wonder if they changed it in Fire Red and Leaf Green. I'll be curious. I mean, that's fine. Might as well test one trainer. I, I tested the trainer that didn't even matter. Okay. I wasn't even reading the question. What? I'm not even reading the questions. Like, I've gotten to the point where I just can't even read the questions. But like, it's fine. It's it's fine, guys. We're definitely not pushing the limits to my sleep potential. But I literally only got three hours of sleep or four hours of sleep last night. Which doesn't help. I think that's really what's cut down my energy is the four hours. Of sleep. Well, hi Blaine. How are you? I hope we have a wonderful, wonderful day. Ha ha ha! I'm Blaine, the leader of the Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha ha ha! You better have a burn heal. He kind of sounded. That was an interesting sound, but whatever. Uh, okay, so Blaine is gonna lead off with an Amistar. Another one. Great. Um, I don't think anybody guessed an Amistar. And if somebody did, congratulations. But I don't think so. Um, but I'll see. I'll write them down just so that I... I'll have to use it. Oh, I think somebody guessed the Nido King. I actually do think somebody guessed Nido King. I think somebody just got five points. 
somebody just I think somebody just got by five votes. I'm actually gonna actually I'm actually gonna pull it out. Except for Charizard and Tarot talked a lot last so it they did not make it easy. Let's see, I'm scrolling up. Oh my god, Joy and I talked a lot too. Okay. Joy guess Needle Queen. Oh my god. No. Oh, that hurts. That hurts my soul. Needle Queen. Wow. I almost want to give her the points just for that. That sucks. But I, th if I did that, it would be the same thing as uh, whatever I did for Mega, where I didn't count the points because he guessed uh, Magikarp instead. <gasps> oh, let's not. Okay. That sucks. That's unfortunate. That was super close. And Blastoise! Somebody- did somebody guess that? No. Another one. That's three straight- four straight Blastoises on an important trainer, by the way. Four of them, I would like to add. That's insane. Full four of them. Ah, oh, there's Carter's guesses. Ah. Uh, and the final Mon. Oh, I guess Victory Bell! Oh, that was... Every, that was a very close one as well. We're switching into Adam. Just making sure. Yeah. Nope, nobody won. It's okay, there's still an 8th gym leader. And this time you get to vote for three Pokemon next time anyways. Well, to be fair, winning this one does just about, I mean, it doesn't do too much, so. Don't be sad if you didn't win. I still feel so bad for Joy. She guessed Nido King and it was Nido, or Nido Queen. She guessed Nido Queen and it was Nido King. Oh, that still upsets me. Oh, Timmy almost won last time and now Joy almost wins. Like, y'all are getting closer and I love it. But uh, I'm guessing Blastoise next time for sure, because it's been in four straight important trainer battles. So, it's definitely got to be up there. But anyway, hopefully you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all.